Hey guys, Ash here from Rain Shadow Legends. Welcome to the video. Send us some love, some positive vibes your way today if you need it. Hey, hopefully you're doing pretty well because you just got your hands on a free legendary champion. It's none other than Rathalos Blade Master, or hopefully you're close. All you gotta do is log in for seven days and get your hand on this free legendary. He's a banner lord, Force Affinity Lego, and I, you may or may not have noticed, probably didn't, but you know, I have not done any content on him other than the announcement video, right? What I want to do is obviously give him a test run, right? We're gonna talk about his kit. We're gonna go ahead and build him in lethal or savage, take him into the arena and see what he can do with his nukes in a PVP setting. However, I'm most excited to throw him in a relentless set and try him in Hydra Clan Boss just to see, you know, especially that A2 ability. Actually, let's just start with his kit briefly. Odds are you're probably already acquainted with it, so we'll go through it pretty, uh, pretty fast here, but thorough at the same time. We have Spirit Thrust on his A1 attacks one enemy has a 65 percent chance when booked of placing a decreased defense if it's a boss the debuff cannot be resisted don't need to tell you guys how extremely valuable even like uh, especially in a clan boss like old school demon lord setting having that irresistible decreased defense on the a1 is so off to a great start on the a2 spirit step slash a three turn cooldown when booked attacks one enemy every second use of this skill in a round will attack all enemies instead also ignores 25 percent of the target's defense if the target's a boss will ignore 100 percent of the target's defense that is absolutely insanely strong right i haven't used it yet but we're going to use it together in this video but you guys know i mean there's not that many abilities in the game that have 100 percent ignored defense right uh there's royal huntsman there's uh there's uh more to macabre there's blood gorged there's a few but there's not that many right jirgid has a potential of doing it with his passive these are insanely strong abilities it's the reason that sun wukong's hit so incredibly hard without massive multipliers because he has that nice 50 percent ignore defense built into the skill right so this is a really really exciting ability to have it on an aoe to have it on an aoe every second use in a round uh means the longer the battle generally speaking the better we think this champion's gonna get right on the a3 this is overhead slash another three turn cooldown this time an aoe before attacking is bringing increased increased crit damage and an increased speed on himself i love the increase i love both both of them obviously getting more damage but getting more speed it just synergizes beautifully with the rest of his kit because it's all about speed taking more turns and that just continues to play out on his uh his passive here rathalos mastery no cooldown here uh well once we read ahead it will be apparent why we don't need a cooldown inflicts 50 percent more damage against targets under burns okay receives 25 percent less damage from enemies under burns i don't need to tell you guys that's like the big version of strength and built in if they're under a burn really good specifically in hydra what that allows us to do is building to be a little bit more of a nuker right not having to worry as much about survivability of course every fifth skill used by this champion deals 200 percent more damage Ooh. So again, it's all kind of snowballing together. Some really good kit synergy on this dude, especially for a champion that frankly doesn't bring much in terms of debuffs or anything essential other than damage. You know, I mean, he has his self buffs. He does have that really nice decreased defense, but that's about it. So how are you gonna make him special? Well, how about all of this stuff, right? He's got like a little bit of a version of Ninja's Escalation in some senses, or maybe a little Jintoro as well, with the every nth time we use this skill, in his case, two times, uh, we do an AoE instead, right? It's very, very interesting, and I'm very excited. My gut is, is that this dude is going to help out so many players, you know, just like Sun Wukong, just like UDK, just like Artak, but only in different ways. So when I was saying that he doesn't bring anything like absolutely essential here outside the decreased debuff, uh, defense, excuse me, in terms of debuffs, uh, I think he makes up for it and then some 
with how good that kit synergy is with how much damage he's going to be uh dealing especially with this a2 ability guys i can't wait to do the guide he also brings attack in dungeons by 30 percent so guys what i'm going to do is put him in a, a kind of a pvp nuker build just to test out his damage in the arena because i know some of you guys will be curious on that uh so i'm going to build him in lethal uh really quickly first i want to give a shout to hellhades.com uh absolutely love the website obviously we have uh multipliers a 3.2 on the a1 pretty solid it is a single hitter on the a2 a four okay but again you can't read a ton into the four because we're ignoring a hundred percent of the target's defense or 25 against champions and then we have a 4.1 on the aoe and again, he's bringing his increased crit damage buff, which is really nice. And he has all the burn, all the extra damage on the, the fifth attack, etc., etc. So it's hard to judge a book by the proverbial cover here in terms of just looking at multipliers, okay? Uh, base stats, his attack, 1487, isn't sky high. It's not out of this world, but I think it's going to be plenty uh, with all of the, the stuff we just discussed. Be right back. Let's go ahead and build them. All right, guys, we're going to jump into the arena, do a quick DPS check on Rathalos. Uh, but first, I want to do his masteries with you guys and show you the build. So again, lethal, cruel. We're just trying to really get, you know, min-maxing his damage here just to see what he can do, right? Because I'm curious. I'm sure some of you guys are too. So I'm just going all out on attack here. I have attack on the banner. I have crit damage on the amulet, and I have attack on the ring. The nice thing about this dude, two things about this champ that I really love. Number one, I love that he's force affinity, right? So force affinity really strong nuker to use basically everywhere with an expertise again i want to say in hydra in clan boss in dragon areas like that uh so i love the force affinity and number two i love that we do not need accuracy in his kit at all uh with that a1 against bosses it can't be resisted anyway so i'm not building with accuracy just to land that in a pvp environment so no accuracy required is what i would tell you guys now again on the first build here this would not be my strongest recommendation recommendation especially for hydra clan boss but uh we have attack percentage on the boots we have attack percentage on the chest and we have crit damage with crit rate on the gauntlet so again we're just going all out nukage here 6500 on the attack 194 he's going to be at 101 because we haven't done masteries yet on the crit rate and 243 on the crit damage now again i want to stress here if you want to build him in lethal or savage i think that's totally fine to run him in dungeons anywhere in this build but under those circumstances i would put speed on the boots okay speed on the boots instead of attack percentage i'd rather have him a little bit faster because we want him to get to his skills faster but again keep in mind i just want to say it like a 20th time to you guys i would absolutely uh put him in i, I really want to put him in a relentless maybe even play around a little bit with reflex you know because uh that's my favorite for pve but this is just a damage check we're gonna be dirty dirty and we're gonna buy the uh the masteries here because i just want to get this video out to you guys uh so you know you guys can i want to hear from you too in the comments below let's go with shield breaker so again Again, we're building him first for PvP in the arena, right? Uh, and then I'm going to change the mastery. So make sure you look at the timestamps on today's video. I will have them there for your convenience. We're going to go with Ruthless Ambush. We're going to go down and pick up... Uh, I'm not sure if I'll have him with a Sleep or a Stun Champion, but yeah, let's go, let's go with Cycle of Violence. And then let's go with Kill Streak, and then we'll end with Helm Smasher, okay? So obviously, he does have the Ignore Defense in his kit already, but uh, keep in mind, it is only, only a 25% in PvP. Uh, so I think that's going to be good for now. We're just going to go with Single Out, and we're also going to go with Bring It Down to kind of finish things up here on the offense. Uh, you know what? We'll go with Methodical as well. So we're definitely going to go defense. I'm going to go with Tough skin and i'm gonna come down pick up blast proof to mitigate aoe attacks i'm gonna pick up resurgent and we're gonna go with delay death into counter attacks with retribution uh i think this is a pretty safe arena kind of nuking build for this dude all right so that's it that's the build now we can take a look at his full stats here and they are 101 253 he does have that nice 30 percent crit damage buff that he's bringing for himself as well as the speed so he's a little slow but that's because we have the attack percentage on the boots let's see what we can do here inside the arena all right guys so let's go ahead and try him out here so i threw him on this team don't worry about the team worry about the champion here i just want to do a dps check on him right 
the A2 for a PvP environment, right? It's not super ideal because we get it back to it two times for it to do an AoE. But of course, on a longer battle, you know, that could be fine. That could that, that could definitely come in handy. Uh, but let's start with his A3. I specifically want to check out his animations, right? Uh, by the way, visually, aesthetically, like this dude looks pretty dang cool. I, I like it. It's all about the blade. Uh, overhead slash. Ooh. Ooh, that was some that was some pretty nice damage there, I would say. On that A3, huh? That was that was pretty dang nice. Alright. Let's do A2. Uh okay. Nephilim, boom. 107k, man. Listen. I'm more excited about this dude in in like Hydra, Demon, you know, anywhere, like PvE, right? But I can't help but always seeing these champions, these these uh, champion chase ones, through the lens of a newer player, you know? And this guy's going to be everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people's just go-to nuker, man, for the arena. For the arena. Let's go in here. Boom. Oof. Just some really, really nice damage output on this dude, you know? Uh, again, his kit definitely... Definitely screams longer battles, you know, but I had that I'm very impressed early on granted He's in some dang good gear, you know cruel lethal you name it. Let's try his a2 here against Pytheon Boom 128k easy easy. Okay, let's try a Taurus team. We gotta we gotta go Necret Taurus I kind of want to give him a little bit. This is like a super tanky team. Duchess is passive. Mithrala on there. Taurus probably going to smoke us. Let's just see what we can do here, right? Okay. I'm going to give him his turn. Uh, what do you guys want to see? The A3 or the A2? I want to go... I, I, he already has increased crit damage. I'm just going to test out his A2 because I really want to get back to it another time, right? So let's do A2 first. Let's just go against... Uh, I don't want to go against Duchess because of the affinities. So let's just see what he can do against Taurus, right? Boom. Ooh. I love it, man. Taurus isn't an easy cat to take down at all, right? Now, we're probably going to lose this fight here, to be fair, because... I don't have a reviver on the team. It's not fully optimized, but I just want to see if we can get back to it here. They have nobody to take me down for a moment, which is good. Let's just uh, let's just give him another turn. Let's see what he can do here. All right, so he has his A2. Now it's the second use of the skill. So now he's going to AoE with the A2, but they all have a billion buffs up. Boom. Ooh, ooh, so close. That was, it might not seem like it, but that was very impressive. Very impressive, considering they have the Duchess, mitigate AoE damage, and uh, they're all tanky as hell, right? Okay, so don't die here. Come on, I want to try one more. Now I got to try. Now I got to try the A3 to finish things here, right? Ooh, I am really impressed with this. Boom. Okay. <laughs> Maybe not that time there. Got a weak hit against Duchess. But I, I got to say, guys, this is pretty impressive here out the gate in the arena. In the arena, right? I want to go ahead and change builds here because, as I said, you know, we're going to have a longer uh, focus and, and we can really focus on every area in future videos and really do a nice, robust guide. I'm not even going to sit here and finish this team. I think we could probably take them down, but it'd take five minutes. I just want to do... I'm getting, I'm getting a little bit, <laughs> I'm getting a little bit excited here, guys. I want to do one more. I want to do one more, uh, one more nuke show off here before we switch builds. But yeah, I'm thinking of all the players just trying to get there, just trying to get their great hall farmed up. And this guy's going to be, I mean, forget paying uh, uh, $60 for Xena Warrior Princess. This guy's got it, man. Here he goes. Boom. I mean, right against Harima, too. Right against Harima. That's a strong. Oh, that, ooh! that was his A1. That was really nice there. Really nice. All right. So, so far, I'm going to say 
I'm freaking impressed as hell at him in the arena. Really better than I thought. And that's not even where he shines. But already, we're looking really good out the gate here. All right, I know this is enthralling to you watching me kill Duchess for 20 minutes. So I'll come back at you guys with the next build. Let's do this. So guys, as I'm building him in Relevis right now, uh, the thought that just occurred to me as well, retaliation, I don't have a great retaliation gear. I have no attack percentage uh, retaliation chest on my entire account. But the idea struck me that retaliation would be a great two-piece set for this dude as well. Uh, because again, every uh, fifth skill used by this champion deals 200% more damage. That means that even if we're using A1s in counterattacks, in ally attacks, if we're using skills in retribution procs, in deterrence procs, for example, or in retaliation procs, it will still count as a skill usage, which will snowball into more opportunities for 200% extra damage, okay? So retaliation is definitely a set to keep in mind and maybe take advantage of as well. All right, guys, so we changed up the masteries a little bit here you're looking at now more of a general pve type build for this champion can't go wrong with war master uh of course with the retribution with the deterrence we just spoke about how valuable that is on this champion in particular and then we have the relentless build as well so relentless obviously we're going to get more opportunities to take more turns ergo double dip off that extra damage every fifth use of a skill more skills means more damage uh moreover of course we'll get extra turns to take that A2 down to a shorter cooldown, essentially, and get even more of those uh, extra AoE attacks with the 100% ignore targets defense on that A2 ability. So now our total stats are going to be 211, 102, 253 in terms of the speed, crit rate, crit damage. I, I want to say another thing that I kind of like about this dude is the 1013 base defense. It might not sound like a ton, but for an attack based champion, it's nice and tanky. It will help keep this dude alive. Live. Uh, he's not that much of a glass kin compared to some other nukers out there, right? Uh, even the HP at 16k is not great, but it's not awful. So, uh, you know, this probably goes without saying, but I have to mention it anyway, that we need to keep this guy alive, of course, or have a reviver on our team or some sort of, you know, strategy to mitigate death, essentially. So, if you're a new player just starting out and you're not exactly sure which stats to prioritize, first and foremost, we do need to keep him alive. After that, it's going to be crit rate, crit damage, a attack percentage some speed on him as well right so guys before i show you uh spider run uh you know i'm just gonna bring you the enthralling uh chat here from the uh from the clan chat uh <laughs> i'm gonna say no comment on that one but you guys inquiring minds want to know says usmc <laughs> they give him a clan boss four and a half hydra five out of five doom tower four uh this is doom tower waves a four out of five they gave him Shogun a 4 out of 5, Spider 5 out of 5, Spider Hard 4, Dragon 4, Dragon Normal 4 and a half, Ice Golem 4, and then Doom Tower not really excelling in any particular area here, and then Arena a 3. How do you guys feel about those uh, gradings? Obviously, they give him a 4.5 though overall, which I feel... I'm surprised by the overall ranking being so high, but that probably speaks to how good this dude is in certain areas, specifically like Hydra. All right, guys, so here we are, Hydra clan boss. This is the moment of truth. I put him in this team. I have a Cupidus and Venus. The reason I'm running him with Cupidus and Venus, you could use this with Artac. I mean, there's so many great burners out there, right? But I wanted some really nice HP burn synergy, and they both bring burns. So there'll be a lot of opportunity to get full extra damage, 50% uh, off of that passive. Uh, I have him with, you know, obviously a Reviver, increased attack champion on the team. We have Crisp for Provoke. We have Tawana Rock for the cleanses. I'm going to go against what difficulty am I even on right? now i'm gonna get some brutal difficulty right now with the squad the beautiful thing here i was watching a sap video talking about this dude and one of the things i love that he mentioned is he's really good especially against higher difficulties of hydra the reason you don't see many teams running trundas on the highest difficulties of hydra clan boss is because there's a lot more defense on those hydra heads so her damage just doesn't scale as exponentially but when you have an ignore defense by 100 percent champion well that's a different story All right, guys so a thing to note here is we do have cupidus in a curse set that way we can plan uh we can land excuse me the uh, the hex right so let's go with the a3 let's go with the a2 here let's go with the buffs we're gonna use krisk as our provoker on this team 
uh, land some debuffs there, decrease defense and weaken. Let's land that provoke. And let's go in and make sure that we're all under burn as well. Now, I'm actually, we have a choice here. We can lead off with the A3 and start out with the increased crit damage, which is nice. Uh, but I'm actually gonna go right in with the A2, right? So let's see A2, boom, 285,000 damage, not bad at all. Uh, let's go. So the next time we have it available will be the AoE though. So let's just do this. Now we're gonna try out the A3. Make sure everybody's still under burn and looking great. You'll notice that I have most of my champions in Relentless. Okay, let's just keep going with the A1. Make sure we have all those hexes out. And okay, A3 there. So here we go. A3, about 150,000. Nothing super crazy, but again, he ramps up over time, right? He ramps up over time. So the longer we go, the better he gets. We're gonna have to deal with the, uh, yeah, with the cleanse here. But I think we're gonna be okay because everything's already back up. Okay. Need a better provoking strategy for this comp, but it's a, I think we'll be, knock on wood, we're gonna be good. All right, so let's do this. I really wanted the decrease defense and weaken, but we have one turn left to land it, so we, we'll be good, we'll be good. That's his A1, again, lands the decrease defense. We don't need accuracy, which is so nice, especially for new players out there who are getting this guy starting out raid from scratch or, you know, previous players returning to the game, right? Okay, we land the Provoke. Gonna extend our buffs. Let's get our debuffs down, Venus. Chris gets the extra turn. Great. Ah, uh, sure. Ah! Okay, so we're still gonna go in. This is gonna be an AoE now, right? Boom. But we didn't have... He gets the extra turn, which is great. Another AoE. Now we're starting. You can see that damage is getting better, guys. And we don't have decreased defense on Weaken on ever... Or we... Do we have, uh, we have decreased defense. We're missing a few weakens, but hey, so far you can already see that damage ramping up a bit here, guys, right? Oh man, this guy is, he's gonna help a lot of players, man. This is the coolest thing. I say it every time, but you know, I have a few videos coming out in the next few days talking about things that, you know, I really want quality of life wise. Some big things, some big things here. Uh, so stay tuned for those videos. I really am curious. As always, I want your feedback, right? Never want to advocate for something to Plarium that you guys don't even care about. So I do have a couple of those videos going live uh, too uh, in the next few days. But I have to say, you, you also got to give credit where credit is due and talk about when they do awesome stuff like this. Like give everybody a free, really impressive champion. All right, here we go, guys. Let's go. This is kind of a little bit of a moment of truth here. Let's check the uh, the damage. And we get a 732,000. Super solid. Another AoE attack. It's the extra turn again. Okay, I really want to see on the decapitateds when we have the AOE, right? I really, and the fifth use of the skill, right? If we can have all the proverbial stars align, I wanna see what this dude can do, right? Let's see, goes in there. Okay, everything's looking fine. Uh, uh, one turn away, one turn off, he got, oh, that was his A1, 460,000 damage. Uh, wow, okay, awesome. <laughs> Gonna go ahead and do that. Keep cycling here. Oh man, this guy, I feel, I already feel it. I already feel the time, like, okay, the longer the battle goes, the better he's gonna get, right? So let's do, again, AOE this time. Gets the extra turn, that was some nice damage. Goes in with the A3. Obviously, when he gets the extra turn, he's also decreasing the cooldown, right, at the same time. Now we're gonna get the hex up on everybody. I love the idea of running him with an R attack. I did a video on R attack a couple days ago in the curse set. Same curse set that now is on Cupidus on my account. I'm not leaving home without my curse set anymore, guys. All right. Uh, boom. 429K on his A1, guys. That's really impressive right there. Okay. Let's just keep it going. I know you can already see that boy, this guy's gonna be able to pull off some massive, massive damage attacks here. Uh, you can see the potential already, right? 
All right, let's go A2. Is this an AoE? Okay. 725,000 damage again. Oh, look at that A1, guys. That was an A1 right there. 1.5 million off his A1. Really, really solid. 2.4 mil right there, guys. 2.4 mil without the decreased defense. At A1, guys. 900,000 million damage off the A1. Really impressive. Again, shows the importance in his kit with not only taking advantage of retribution and deterrence and all those counterattacks, right? But also it's going to power him up and get more attacks in there, more skill uses in there. Here's his A2 right here. Boom, 880, not bad. Not the highest number that we've seen so far, though. So far, I'm thoroughly impressed in Hydra. All right, guys, so we kept it on auto for 30 minutes. Let's go ahead and end the battle and see what the damage was looking like here for this squad on, again, Brutal Difficulty. So 46 million damage. Wow, that is pretty dang impressive. It's impressive, A, because Cupid is sure had almost 60 million, but he's counterattacking on every single hit because Venus is on the same team, and he is six-star awakened with Crushing Rend. So don't need to tell you guys how unbelievably strong that is. But the fact that he is, you know, within 15 million damage without any of that extra stuff, that's a lot of promise. This dude is going to help a lot of players out in Hydra Clan Boss. All right, guys, so I want to get this video out and kind of end it here. But so far, I really like this guy. There's no doubt about it. He's going to help out so many accounts out there in a variety of different areas inside the game. What are your first impressions? I want to thank you guys for chilling with me and taking a look at this champion for the very first time together. Uh, but with that said, expect a way more detailed and robust guide in different areas of the game and i'm gonna get him on my mini account which is way more free to play friendly as well in i think four days so be expecting a more you know a realistic i want to say build on this champion in addition to what you saw today thank you for watching until the end congratulations on your free lego and as always take care guys